Welcome to Systematic Theology. This is part two of the lesson, Love God, Hate Sin, in which we are discussing being set apart by God from the world and what the Bible tells us about it. In this segment, we will be looking at the principles that guide us on how to be separate from the world. Do you want to be set apart as a Christian? Watch to the end to learn all about it. In part one of this lesson, Love God, Hate Sin, we looked at the seven things we are to be separated from. You can watch it in the pinned video if you haven't already, then come back to continue with the second part of the lesson. If you are new here, this is Systematic Theology YouTube channel. We produce daily videos sharing Christian basics and spreading the word of God to the four corners of the world. Moving on. There are situations when we are not sure whether to be separate or not. In such a situation, there are four guiding principles to help us decide on what to do. Let's discuss these principles. Firstly, if my action causes my brother to stumble, then I must not do it. The Bible in 1 Corinthians 8 verse 13 states, Therefore, if what I eat causes my brother or sister to fall into sin, I will never eat meat again so that I will not cause them to fall. Secondly, whatever I do, I must be sure it will bring glory to God. Otherwise, I should not do it. Colossians 3 verse 17 states, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Before we look at the last two principles, if you are enjoying this video, we would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell down below so you will be alerted every time we upload a new video. The third principle, I must separate myself from anything that harms my body physically, mentally, or emotionally. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20 explains, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's. The fourth principle, make it a rule to always ask yourself if Jesus were in my present situation, what would he do? Whatever the honest answer is to that question is what you must do also. Christ is our ultimate example who we ought to model after. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21 states, for even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. This has been part two of the three part lesson Love God, Hate Sin. Join us in part three of this lesson coming up on your screen right now. In the coming video, we will be looking at the results of separating ourselves from the world, so make sure you watch that too. See you in the next one.